Hi, I am Teacher Raema, and these are my friends from Centro de Niños. Say hi! Thank you for joining us on our STEM adventure. Today we're going to do crystal letters. Crystals are a special kind of solid material where the molecules form together in a repeating pattern. In nature, an example of a crystal that you might know already are diamonds. Today we're going to do a different kind of crystal using pipe cleaners, water, and borax. Let's begin our activity. Here, I have a pipe cleaner for each one of you. Using the pipe cleaner, we're going to form the first letter of our name. I'm going to do letter R because my name is Raema. What is the first letter of your name? Okay. So you're going to do an S and then you're going to do an I and then you're going to do your J. I'm going to do an R. Look, so you just have to twist it. Look, does that look like an R? Mm -mm. It doesn't look like an R? Yeah. Forming our letters with our pipe cleaners, now we're going to tie them using string to our popsicle stick. Let me give you a piece of yarn for you. Here, tie it to your letter. Here, tie it to your letter. Here, Susan, you could try it. Tie it to your letter. We will do a knot on the letter. And then, we will do a knot onto our popsicle stick. Now that our letters are ready, we need some hot water. You could ask your grown-up to heat up the water using a hot plate or the microwave. We are going to fill out our containers now using our hot water. Prepare all your materials before you begin your experiment. We're going to use this measuring cup to fill out our jars with three cups of water. Assist your children in this step since the hot since the water is hot. Here Susan, can you put it on your on your jar? Uno. One. Can you help me count? Yeah. Okay. Now it's your turn, Julian. How many cups of water do we need? And how much is that? Four. Four? We're going to use three cups. Now that we have our jars with three cups of water, we're going to use this tablespoon to measure our borax. We're going to need nine tablespoons of borax. For every one cup of water, you need three tablespoons of borax. Let's begin counting. your turn, Susan. Can you please add three, three tablespoons of borax? Borax is a special crystalline mineral powder that we will be using for our activity. We cannot taste it or eat it because we can't get sick. So grown-ups, please make sure you supervise the children during this part of the experiment. Remember, we need to add nine tablespoons of borax. We already added three, so we're gonna add the rest. Can you help me count? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To create more magic, we're gonna be adding food coloring to our water to see what happens. Isabella's gonna use red. Susan's gonna use blue, and Julian is gonna be using green. What color are you gonna use? Just open it and put some drops. Yeah. <laughs> I put a lot of tea. Now, using a wooden stick, we're gonna mix our ingredients together. I want it. 
why is the borax disappearing? The borax is disappearing when because when you mix a powder with a hot liquid, the hot liquid begins to break down the particles found in the powder, causing it to disappear or dissolve. Now we're gonna make a prediction. A prediction is a statement of something that we think is gonna happen in the future. What do you think is gonna happen when we dip our letters into the container? What's gonna happen? It's gonna change colors. It's gonna change colors? It got it. Our prediction for today is that when we dip our letters into the container, it's gonna change colors. Let's continue our experiment and see how it goes. Here we are 24 hours later to see our results. Let's pull out our crystals. What are we seeing? What happened to the letters? Um, turned into white and frozen. What we did is when we mixed the water and the borax, we created Teacher, a suspension of borax. Also, the movie also had freezes. You're right. A suspension is a mixture that contains solid Please particles large enough to settle out but far too small for us to see. When we mix the hot water, it dissolves the borax, which caused the water molecules to move very, very fast. And now that it cooled down, they're slowing down, form combining together. They bond together, forming crystals. And look at these beautiful crystal letters. Now, we can take our crystals home and we could put them by our window and each morning we could see how beautiful they look with the sunlight. Why do you always drink? Hope you enjoy this activity and don't forget to post your results on our Facebook page. Also visit www.centrodeniños.com for more activities. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy the rest of our videos. See you next time, here with another STEM activity.